What is up guys, Brian Elliott here, and today I'm going to show you three ways that you can even mix and match to get a really cool lightsaber hit effect when two lightsabers connect and you get that bright flash. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to be doing two of these completely inside of After Effects and one of them is going to use some stock elements. Uh, a lot of the tutorials that I've seen online have used very specific stock elements that you can't find and download anymore. So I wanted to go ahead and do one that was not gonna get outdated if a download link got destroyed. So on into After Effects we go. And there we go. Let's look at our sample real quick. And we got some sparks, we got nice big flash. Looks pretty cool. All right. So first we're gonna scroll over here, figure out where our sabers hit. Looks like they hit right here. Gonna do layer, new adjustment layer. And we're gonna drag our adjustment layer to start when the sabers hit. And looks like they end, they have disconnected right there. So let's drag that over there, perfect. And our first method is going to actually be one that I did not use on my short film, The Way of the Jedi, but one that I've discovered since and really like and that is a lens flare. Just a basic lens flare in After Effects. I personally think that the 105 millimeter prime looks the most lightsaber-esque. So we can grab this here, this point, and drag it over onto the sabers, hit flare center and flare brightness um, stopwatches so we can adjust those. And if we want, we can like really brighten this up to like 153% when they first hit. And then can drag you know, this down maybe a little bit and move it over. And move it over one more time. And it's gone. So we got that nice, bright, simple hit. All right, so that is our first way. So let's go ahead and turn that off and go to our second option, which is adding another adjustment layer. Adjustment layers are our big friend in this. Uh, and then we're gonna go to our other big friend, brightness and contrast. And you guessed it, we're gonna crank up that brightness. We're gonna grab an ellipse tool draw you know a fairly large ellipse hit f4 feather feather it out a bit so we get a nice general bright area grab our mask and drag it right over our sabers go ahead and hit layer new adjustment layer and then we're basically going to do the same thing but in a smaller tighter circle and draw that nice small circle and make it nice and bright. F for feather, feather it out just a bit so it blends nicely. And then we're gonna select that mask and drag that over our saber. And then we're also gonna hit uh, M for mask, mask path and track with our blades. Perfect. And we can go ahead and hit M for mask on our larger one and do the same thing. Tracking with our blades. And then we've got this. Very similar to our other, just the plain lens flare. If we want to play that back real quick. The lens flare is a little brighter, a little simpler and faster to do, but this is another option if you prefer this sort of look. And then finally, if you do want to add kind of those sparks, kind of stylize it a little bit, you can grab whatever spark element you want. I'm just personally using uh, one called Firecracker 12 from uh, Video Copilot's Action Essentials 2. And I'm gonna go ahead and scale this to 80%. Let's 
let's find where that starts. Perfect. And because of the direction, I'm going to rotate it. And let's make sure I'm rotating it the way we want. Yes, perfect. And we're going to drag it here, right click, blending mode, screen so it blends in nicely. And boom, we've got these additional sparks. You could also use it by itself if you wanted, but you're not going to get any of that nice additional glow. But that is an option. I personally think it looks best either with the adjustment, uh, with like the brightness adjustments or with the lens flare. That creates a really nice look with the lens flare. So that's three options that you can really mix and match to make something cool. Give yourself a really cool looking lightsaber clash right here inside of After Effects or in After Effects with some additional uh, stock elements. So hopefully you guys found that useful and helpful and I'll catch all of you in the next tutorial.